if you're studying for coding interviews, you've got to know backtracking. We can use backtracking to solve the permutation problem where you have all possible orderings of a list of numbers. Let's generate all permutations of one, two, three. The first number could be either one, two, or three. Then if we picked one as the first number, you could have one, two, or one, three. You could have two, one, or two, three. Each of the leaves at the bottom are a permutation of one, two, three. Our code is going to use backtracking to go through all of these possibilities. So we're going to build up solution, which starts at empty, and we're going to eventually make it one full permutation. We're going to go through all of the numbers, and for every number that's not in the solution, we are going to append that number to the solution. After we've made this decision, we want to call backtrack, which does this recursively. But after we call backtrack, we must undo what we did. We take that number out of the solution. We are going to go back up the tree. As soon as we get that the length of the numbers is equal to the length of our solution, we want to append to our full list of permutations that we have a solution. And so that's why 